Okay, so what we're going to need to do this is we need our sketch, which you will uh, cut out from the paper. We're going to have a scrap piece of cardboard and we're going to have a full piece of cardboard, pencil, scissors. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our sketch, we're going to put it on our full piece of cardboard after we have cut it out. You need to make sure that your sketch is big enough um, that it takes up the space. You don't want a little tiny thing. So you're going to take your pencil and you're just going to trace around the outside of your sketch. Ooh, ah, carefully getting all of my lines. When I'm done, I'm gonna take that off and then I'm going to go ahead and cut out the face shape from the cardboard. I'm gonna be using scissors. I cannot cut with the end of my scissors. I have to cut with the very bottom part of my scissors. So I have to open them up really big and go all the way down in order to get it to cut because the cardboard is really thick. Now, you do not have to cut it out as one solid line. You can skip around to make it easier for yourself. It is cardboard, it is really thick, it is going to make your hand get a little bit sore. As long as you are not trying to cut with the tip of the scissors, you will be able to cut. But it might be easier, like right there, I just went ahead and cut a chunk off so that I could maneuver my cardboard better to cut on the line. If you're doing that, just be careful that you're not cutting too far inside of your lines because then you're going to mess your shape up. All right. So one of the things that you can do, see I'm coming from all different angles, making sure to use the back of my scissors. If you have any smaller items to cut out, like the uh, the fur on my wolf down here. It's not easy for me to go in and out and in and out. Instead, I'm just going to cut in and in again to cut that shape out rather than me trying to flip my scissors around with the cardboard. So there are easier ways to do it. So whichever way you can get it cut out and it's semi-comfortable for your hand, do it. All right, so we're gonna save all of our leftover um, cardboard. Um, we're gonna use it to make all the other shapes. So now we're trying to recreate this on this. And we're going to do that by cutting out all the shapes we drew with the cardboard. So what I'm going to do is I can find a scrap piece of cardboard and I'm going to put it next to the shape I want to recreate. So I'm going to do the eye right here. So I'm going to put it right next to it so I can try and redraw that shape as best I can. I'm trying to copy the shape and the size. So I want it to be roughly the same size as it is on my paper. Then I will cut it out with my scissors. So now I have a shape that mimics the shape I already drew. And since I have two eyes to make it easy, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the shape I already cut out and I'm going to trace it again onto a new piece of cardboard so that my eyes are symmetrical. It's a lot easier to do that than try and draw the same exact shape again. So I'm gonna cut that one out too. Ooh, ah, I've got two eyes. I'm ready to put them onto my cardboard piece. All right, so let's talk about using um, a hot glue gun. When you're ready to glue, when you have pieces cut out and you're ready to glue them, you're going to go to one of the stations where the hot glue guns are. Um, you can double check and make sure that it's on and working by touching this area right here. It will be warm. Do not touch anywhere up here it will burn you it is really really hot it's called a glue gun because you have to pull the trigger down here for it to work if there's not enough glue um, in the glue gun you'll pull the trigger and even though it's warm nothing will happen you just need a new glue stick so you don't need a ton you put a dab on I did this backwards and then you stick it in its desired spot. So, get a circle, glue in the appropriate spot. 
So what you want to do is once you cut a shape out, or two shapes even, um, go ahead and glue those down before you start cutting the rest because once we start cutting small shapes, they're easy for us to lose. So I'm just going to keep going. Um, I'll work on cutting out all of my different shapes, um, matching this in the cardboard so that it will match this and then I will glue them down. Now one thing that might happen is you might have to double up shapes. So what I mean, like in my eyes, so this is the shape of my eye, but I also have a circle inside my eye. So I would make a circle out of the cardboard and stick it on top. So I've got two layers of shapes. So if you drew it that way, that's how it's going to go in the cardboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So now my cardboard matches my sketch. They're the same. <laughs> 